Hi, I'm Jim from Pure Wave Audio. Today we are discussing Lynx Aurora N converters. Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. If you like what you see, please subscribe and hit the notification buttons below and share with others on social media. And check out all the other resources at purewaveaudio.com. Now I think everyone knows that Lynx has been a company producing high-end converters for many years. And they broke the mold with the Hilo converter, which is a mastering quality A to D, D to A in one box, but was only two channels of A to D and D to A. The new Aurora N converters takes that Hilo mastering quality and puts it in a multi-channel format. So now we could record mastering quality all the way around while tracking drums or a whole band. The specs have drastically changed. Total harmonic distortion got 5 dB better, dynamic range 2 dB better, frequency response deviation from 0.1 to 0.01, that's massive linearity, and crosstalk up 10 dB from before. Now one thing that is an issue with specs from other companies is they give you the specs taken right off the chip of the converter and not the whole audio chain of the unit. That's not true with Lynx. Their specs are real specs from the jacks of the unit all the way to the converter. These specs are also on the conservative side, so your personal unit will either meet or exceed the published specifications. So you might be thinking, well, why Lynx compared to Apogee or Universal Audio or even Burl? Well, Lynx is not colored. It means there is no flavor that they are pushing as the manufacturer like others are. Some of these manufacturers are putting a bump in the low end to try to be reminiscent of tape. And believe me, in today's circuits, we're not rolling off at 40 hertz anymore. We roll off at 3 hertz sometimes. And so I have enough low end to go around. I don't need it in my converters. I remember doing shootouts with different converters and hearing that color on the way in and on the way out. So you're saying, okay, so my converters are a little colored, so what's the issue with this? Well, technically what this means is you'll never hear your final product the way it really sounds. And you're saying, well, what does that mean? Well, we deliver files. And so the act of playing back that file and going through the color converter means that we're not hearing what's on the file. And so if you want to hear a correct representation of what's in your mix, you have to have an uncolored converter because the converter is coloring it for that playback. So now you say, well, I'll just run it out one more time, you know, and, and we'll, we're good. But the problem with that is you have to recapture it back in to make it to the final file. So now you've double colored it. So, Remember, your distribution is a digital file, and we want to hear that digital file in its final form before it goes to distribution. And the only way to do that is to actually have uncolored converters. So you might love your Burl converters, and that's great. I don't have any problems with that. But what I'm suggesting is you might want to use Lynx converters for your digital analog conversion so you could actually hear what is actually recorded on your file. So for me personally, because of these reasons, I do not like having colored A to D or D to A. I have two pre's and outboard gear and all sorts of stuff for that. I want my converters absolute, and that's why I chose Lynx along with other high-end companies like Dolby and Skywalker Sound. Now the new Lynx Aurora N has a new modular design, and what's great about that modular design is that you could have up to 32 channels of in and outs. You could also add preamps, summing modules, AES, EBU, and future cards. You also get to choose between Thunderbolt, Dante, USB, and Pro Tools HD. It also comes with a built-in recorder player for 32 channels of 192 kilohertz audio straight to micro SD card. Great for live audio capture or redundant backup while tracking via computer DAW. The clock has been upgraded from the original Aurora 2. So let's take a look at the back to understand how this works. There are six slots. One is for the word clock, so it is not configurable. One is for the L slot, 
So you get to pick your connection to your DAW. So Thunderbolt, USB. Then there is four left. The rest are for your LM cards. Right now we have eight in and eight out analog conversion with the LM AI08. There's also 16 channels of AES EBU with the LM Dig and four channel mic line preamp with the LM Pre4. The LM slots are not user installable, but the L slot is if you want to switch your protocol. This was a compromise to still make this a one rack unit, which all the focus groups wanted to have when designing this unit. So when you go to buy, you choose what your protocol is and then what your four slots are going to have, and then you're all set. I personally have 24s of analog IO with three LM AI08s, and I could send it back in the factory in the future to add any LM card I need. For convenience, they pre-configured models, but you could get a custom quote from us on any model you want to design. Eight in and outs with a USB start around $25.99, and it goes all the way up to 32 in and out with Dante for around $6,100. You could also stack multiple units to have more than 32 channels, and the pricing that I've just quoted is actually cheaper than the original Aurora was per channel. Check the links below to see all the links Aurora N configurations at purevaudio.com. Again, we could custom quote you if you do not see your configuration there. Please hit the subscribe and the notification buttons below, and please share on social media. Feel free to email us and contact us by phone if you have any more questions, and until next time, have a great day. <laughs>